Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to transplant into your tower garden. I just finished rebuilding the farm and I am ready to transplant. If you're not at this stage, maybe you want to learn how to build a tower garden first, check out this video. I start all my plants from seeds and rock wool. If you want to learn how to use rock wool, check out this video. But if you're still here and ready, let's get started. So the first thing you should do after you finish building your tower and before you transplant is to check and make sure your water's running correctly. And this is simply done by turning the water on, making sure that it pumps all the way to the top and trickles down evenly throughout the tower. If it's not pumping properly, you need to take the tower down and try and build it more firmly again. Then we're gonna take our net pots and fill all the towers first. Net pots are these little black cylinder shaped cups that you put in each of the planting spaces. So there are two different types of tower pots, high density and low density. Now the high density towers do not need net pots. All the low density ones do. And those are really the only two types of tower pots, high and low density. If you wanna learn more about those and how they're used, check out this video. I just pop the end in and use two fingers to push it in but not too hard because sometimes you can break them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all the nap pots in. Okay, now that our nap pots are in, it's time to start transplanting our plants. You see the roots coming out the bottom here? So the first thing you need to know is as we rip off the rock roll cubes, be gentle with them because the roots are delicate. You wanna damage and upset them as little as possible so just be careful as you pull them apart and put one in each planting hole. What I found is easiest for me is I take the whole tray and set it on the base of the tower I'm gonna to be building. And then I'm just reaching down and pulling them apart and placing them in from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, now that everything is transplanted, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights. And from here, it's just about maintaining your grow environment. I keep my temperature between 65 and 75 max, and my humidity between 40% and 60%. Some of these things may seem simple, but they're the basic stuff that you gotta do in order to maintain a pretty awesome indoor farm. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one.